I used to think my industry was saturated. Barbershop in every plaza, a salon, a barbershop, sometimes suites, all in the same plaza. Sometimes there's a great clips too, or sports clips in there as well, in every plaza. And then you look around and you kind of can say the same thing for almost any industry. Restaurants, saturated. Every intersection, every plaza, got a thousand different, and they, they piled up on top of each other. Car dealerships, same thing, piled up on top of each other. Um, what about the tax businesses, the tax, you know, tax filing uh, businesses? They're in every, smoke shops and every day, car, uh, car washes. Man, you know, it's hard to see a macro view, you know, a, a broad view when you, you're building from the bottom. And it's hard to not have that scarcity mindset. My dog Donnie always talks about the ultimate barber. Check out his book on Amazon. But at the same time, I realize most businesses don't do good businesses. Business, right? A lot of businesses almost operate with entitlement. And it's not always the business owner. Sometimes it's the wrong employees, the wrong team. It's just people in general. You go to restaurants, it's hard to find good customer service. Prices are crazy. Tip culture is insane. But I find myself, anytime I go to a good business and I have good service and good product and people that genuinely care, I don't mind tipping. I don't mind spending some money there. And all of a sudden, those type of places become the place I want to go to more fre frequently than anywhere else. And so when I think of those places, it doesn't matter if, if it's a restaurant, if it's a car wash, if it's a salon or a barbershop, they're not easy to come by. And a lot of times, they're not consistent when you do find one the first visit. Just because you see a bunch of barbershops doesn't mean it's saturated. You walk into a barbershop, no one greets you. People act like they're doing you a favor. Consultation sucks. You tell them what you want, you don't get, you don't get what you want. You run behind by five minutes, barbers, barbers on your ass, they run behind. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's crazy. And it's not just in barbershops, and it's not just in the barbering industry. It's, it's across the board all over the place. It's, it's getting wild out here. And so what I believe and what I've learned over the years is you can control what you can control. And nothing's saturated because there's always another level, a better level of customer service, a better level of quality haircuts. Are you investing in yourself? Are you getting better day by day, working hard? You don't raise your prices because you took a class. You raise your prices when you've put in the work, when you've invested your, in yourself and your skill sets have got, gotten better over the years and the demand for your, for your service and your product and your skills grows. People are willing to frequent you more and, and, and word of mouth starts to spread like wildfire and people can't get in. They're willing to pay you after hours, before hours. Your top line revenue keeps growing, but you can't fit people in. So you go up on your price a bit. I'm not saying go from 20 to, to 100. Go from 20 to 30 bucks. If you do 2,000 haircuts this year, make sure that's, that's even doable. No, we're not going to use the number 2,000. Let's say you do... Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's go with 2,000. If you do 2,000 haircuts this year... That $10 raise is a $20,000 raise for the year. And then you keep investing in yourself. You keep growing. You keep getting better. The type of person you become attracts the type of people that are going to sit in your chair. A year goes by, you're super busy again. Getting complaints. After hour, before hour haircuts, you go up another 10 bucks. Now you're at 40. You're not going to lose much clients. I've been doing this for 13 years now. We've been in business. We have eight barbershops, over 80 barbers. And I've educated thousands of barbers throughout the years. And, I'm, and I've seen it like clockwork, man. If you do it the right way, if you earn it, if you, if, you, if you invest in yourself, if you're patient, if you're humble, if you're always learning, man, I'm telling you, you will get returns and you'll get it the right way. And you'll get it in a way that, that isn't temporary. There's a lot of guys, I'm, I'm telling you, I've made videos where I've warned people before. Man, look, people are getting away with going straight out of barber school, charging 60 bucks for a cut. Y'all ain't been through 2008. <laughs> you know, like, y'all ain't been through, through a season yet. Those are the guys who are going to get hurt the most. But if you, did it, if you do it the right way, you'll have a strong foundation. 
and it's real. It's not temporary. It's not a trend. It's not a wave. And so with our barbershops, we're not like I've never I've, I haven't tried to, to skip the process and go straight to 100 bucks and, and all that. Right. We're charging our barbers come in and they start at 25 bucks for a haircut. And some of them have gotten to a hundred dollars a haircut, but they started at 25 or at 20. Now it's at 25. We got guys that are at 40, 50, 60, but they started at 25. They built it the right way. This is a long term game, guys. And that doesn't mean you have to kill yourself forever. A lot of the guys who started out at 25 doing 80, 60, 70 haircuts a week, when they got to 40, 50 dollars, they stopped working five, six days a week. Now, some, some of them still do because they, they got goals. They want to invest their money. They're young. They got no kids. But there's people, there's barbers who, you know, they decide they're going to go to three days a week, four days a week. And they're making, they're still making six figures. They're still making a good amount of money because they went through the process. They got up to 40, 50 bucks. Then they lowered their, their work schedule and they're happy. They're making six figures, working three, four days a week. You don't have to go that route. But when you go that route, it's long term. It's real. I hope, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Businesses in any industry, they're not saturated because there's always another level. I dare you to focus on being consistent on, number one, investing in yourself and getting better every day. Not just skills, cutting hair, but also here. I dare you to do that. Be obsessed with that. I dare you to be consistent, not with, with, with the quality of your hair, just with the quality of your haircuts, but you greet all your customers. You check on all your customers. You make sure they're happy with their haircuts and that you're listening to, the, to what they want. Consultation matters more than you guys know. You're cleanly and you clean and the bathroom in the shop is always clean. There's mothers that come in. There's kids that come in. Make sure the bathroom's always clean. Make sure the music is safe for, for a family to come in. Be happy. Be excited in the shop. Nobody wants to spend, in, you know, 45 minutes in the shop around a whole bunch of miserable people, unless you want misery around you, because you know misery loves company. I dare you to, to, to not settle for mediocrity. Don't just be good, be great. Do that for a season, I dare you. You'll see there's no competition. There ain't no competition, because there's so many people in this country, in this world, that have yet to find a great barbershop, a great restaurant, a great cleaning service, a great detailer, a great landscaper, a great pool cleaner. Man, I'm a great contractor. I struggle with that. When I find them, man, I keep them. And I'm grateful and I'm telling everybody about them. And they go up on their prices because of the inflation, because of this, because of that. And I'm happy to pay it. No industry is saturated if you come to the table correct. And then when challenging times come, everybody's affected. But the guys who didn't come to the table correct all this time, they lose all their food. You're still going to eat. Maybe not as good as you were when the economy is great, when there's, no, when there's no war, when there's no civil unrest, when there's a pandemic. Maybe you're not eating as good before all that stuff. But when that stuff happens, because you've been great for a season, nothing's, you're still going to eat. Your situation's not unique. Your city's not unique. There are barbershops in every plaza across America. There are barbershops everywhere around the world. It's one of the most popular, easiest businesses to open, to start. There's not a huge, it's not like being a doctor um, where you got to go to school and there's like this huge um, barrier of entry. That doesn't exist. But there's two sides to that coin because just because there's a low barrier of entry doesn't mean every single person that's coming into the industry, just like realtors, I know realtors feel this, doesn't mean they come into the table correct. Every single person that goes and, and wants to be a doctor, they know they got to come to the table correct because the barrier of entry is so high that it filters out a lot of people who aren't qualified. There's a lot of unqualified people that are barbering right now that are realtors right now, that are, that are landscapers and pool cleaners and all that, right? That's not your competition. That's not what saturation looks like. You just got to compete. Be a competitor. Look at the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, and compete, man. Become better every day. You know what you need to do. Stop looking to the left and to the right. Those guys are not as qualified as you. You should believe that. And if you do, you ain't got to worry about no saturation.
And one thing that I can tell you, man, is this is true throughout history. And since history repeats itself, until I see it not work for the thousands of barbers that I've been helping to become successful in this industry, until I start seeing it don't, it don't help, I don't see it changing in the future either. Good luck, guys.